there comes a time when the blank the blankness of future is so extreme it is such a black wall of nothingness N not even of bad things it's not like there's a cave full of monsters that you're afraid of entering the future it is just nothingness the neon as the french would say the, la vide the, the void the emptiness and it is uh, just horrible it's horrible to contemplate uh, a futureless future, if that isn't too impossible. Um, and so you just want to, to step out of it, to step out of the, 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 the whole race, the whole business. The, the monstrosity of being alive overwhelms you. Mood to me is like weather. If it's raining, it's no good saying it isn't raining, it is real. You know, that water is actually falling from the sky. Anybody who's that depressed, anyone, male, female, whatever, contemplates suicide. I mean, the pain of it, the pain of depression. You're copeless, you're hopeless, you don't want to eat, you find it difficult to sleep, it's never out of your mind, What I've learned is that because I was saved, I had 20 more years of very productive life. And this is the lesson that I take from it. I was out of my mind. I was a little crazy. And if you can somehow wait it out, you're gonna, you're gonna get better. All of a sudden, broke this wrist. I could feel it go crack underneath me, fell on it. And uh, I'm back in almost immediately. See, some people might fear girls not liking them back. Some people might fear sharks. Some people might fear death. But for me, for a large part of my life, I feared myself. I feared my truth, I feared my honesty, I feared my vulnerability, and that fear made me feel like I was forced into a corner. I was forced into a corner and there was only one way out. And so I thought about that way every single day. But right now, depression is society's deep cut that we're content to put a band-aid over and pretend it's not there. Well, it is there. It is there, and you know what? It's okay. Depression is okay. If you're going through it, know that you're okay. And know that you're sick. You're not weak, and it's an issue, not an identity, because when you get past the fear and the ridicule and the judgment and the stigma of others, you can see depression for what it really is. And that's just a part of life. And it's okay, because depression is okay. We're people. We're people, and we struggle, and we suffer, and we bleed, and we cry. And if you think that true strength means never showing any weakness, then I'm here to tell you, you're wrong. You're wrong because it's the opposite. We're people and we have problems. We're not perfect and that's okay. So we need to stop the ignorance, stop the intolerance, stop the stigma and stop the silence. We need to take away the taboos, take a look at the truth and start talking.